Hi, I'm Leon Perkins, and this is my 2003 Mercedes Sprinter 311 CDI. <music> can't tell by the accent I'm from the great city of Liverpool. The past 20 years of my life I've been a BMX rider which gave me a great taste for travelling. So even though this is a high top van I still have to bow my head a little. But anyway, this is my kitchen. I've been building and living in vans since 2015. So the, these two cubbies here are mainly where I store my food. My thing with food in the van is do not store it high up because heat rises and a lot of the time the top part of the van can get quite warm, especially if you've got your stove on or it's just a hot day. Um, so it's better to keep food lower down where it can stay a little bit cooler. My first van was a tiny Daihatsu x -Doll. It was so fun to drive. It only had a bed in the back and enough room for my bike, but I loved that thing. I love cooking, so when I rebuilt this van, I had to have a real oven to cook meals in. So that's what I got. This is a Camp Chef oven. It's designed for outdoor cooking, but it works so well inside my van and of course I've got a spice rack you can't have a kitchen without a spice rack underneath there I have shoe storage so I've got my hiking boots in there some trainers and my my uh, sandals. My second van was an LDV convoy that I got for £400. My friend Zach Shaw borrowed me the £400 until payday so I could snap it up super quick. I learned a lot building out that van. Then we have my kitchen cabinets. So what I did with these is I made them into trifold doors. I did this because when you open the door it takes up a lot less floor space. So when you stood in the van, if I had a full-size door, it'd be right out to here. So now with the hinges and three sections, I've got a door that takes up a hell of a lot less space. So I love having a goal to work towards and I love new experiences. For example, riding a BMX competition in the south of France and getting there by van. <laughs> Now I'm training to become a mountain leader. Having the van is a massive facilitator for that. I can drive out to the mountains and I can park up wherever I can with instant access to the mountains and I can stay there for as many days as I can or need to. I love that. On the worktop, we have my 240 volt sockets which go connect to the inverter in the back. So next we've just got a cheap round sink. So I wanted quite a nice big sink because I've, over the years I've had smaller ones and they just weren't that good. So I got, an, I got a bigger one from experience. A bigger sink is better. I'm not really into these jam pan things or fancy bowls on top of the on top of the counter. I've tried it. It looked nice, but it wasn't practical. We have just lots of hooks for things, cups, chopping board, coffee filter, porthole windows. So what I do on my porthole windows is I've got these little wooden these little wooden hatches that just block out, completely block them out so there's no light escaping from inside the van to the outside of the van at night time. So it's just a little bit stealthier. So living in Liverpool and Wanting to be a mountain leader does have its barriers. Travelling and accommodation can cost a lot of money, especially when you've got a requirement to spend 40 days in the mountains before your assessment. So the van enables me to stay in places for free, knocking down one of those barriers 
to becoming a mountain leader. As you can tell, I really like my van to be unique and represent my personality. So I've gone for a massive theme using wood and nature for inspiration. I love natural products and the outdoors, so I've tried to bring as much as that as I can into the van. In 2016 I wasn't riding BMX because I had an ACL injury um, I was just working in retail and building up my van for when I was able to go on BMX trips again so next I've got these curtains handmade handmade curtains that used to be on the lining of the roof of this van when I first built it out so this is for when I get up early in the morning and Yana is still sleepy. I can close this off, turn this light on if I need to, and the bed section is still nice and dark. It also helps keep the warmth in there for when you're in the winter, so and it's a bit chilly. Um, one day when I was working in the shop, one of my friends came in from college and I was like, what are you up to these days? She said she was doing outdoor education in university and I was like, what even is that? she explained that it's like you learn to be a mountain leader you learn to be a rock climbing instructor you learn to be a kayak and paddle sport instructor and i was just like no way that sounds incredible i need that i went and signed up that very night so let's keep this bit short and sweet dashboard got some crystals some feathers that i like to collect when i find them some organite a little dream catcher and a pine cone from formby woods here we have my rear view camera screen and my dashboard cam. Nice little boho style steering wheel cover just to make it a little, more, a little bit more personal. Signing up for that outdoor education course completely changed the tangent of my life. It made me remember what I wanted to be when I was a kid, an adventurer. <laughs> The garage section. Little window at the back there just for above the bed. Climbing gear on this side and some pockets for storage on this side as well as my big long hookup cable. Here we have my gas box which is unfinished, it's not quite fully sealed yet. Smoke alarm, consumer unit. This is something I quite like which I added a few months ago. Underneath garage lights. One there and one here. Ag two AGM batteries, inverter power charger which is connected to the consumer unit that's the only thing that's connected to the consumer unit so when I'm plugged in on hookup basically it's charged keeping the batteries charged and then I use the inverter I still ride BMX a lot but I'm moving into another chapter of my life now in the back corner there we've got the fuse box and the solar charge controller and a little brake switch here we've just got some bags ropes climbing gear climbing helmets the water tanks, two 25 litre water tanks that are connected with this T-junction which, which goes up and along and all the way to the sink at the front there. I work at an outdoor centre and I'm going out on adventures, hiking, rock climbing, kayaking, I'm working towards being a better freelance outdoor instructor and this van is a perfect tool for all of those things. So the bed is four and a half foot wide and with these two pockets on either end 
it is just a smidge under six foot now i am six foot three so i still have to sleep on a slight angle and then we've got some overhead lockers there just for clothes i grew up on a pretty poor council estate where most people just lived in a little bubble and had no desire to break free of that little bit about the outside it is a DIY ghetto roller paint job luckily I found BMX and that taught me more about different people all over the world and got me traveling all over this, this country and abroad so in this section here we've basically got like a mini control panel we've got the switch for my water pump we've got the switch for my air conditioning system which is a fan that pulls cool air into the van from underneath which is always in the shade and that comes out just right here so if I flick that switch we've got cool air blowing into the van and hot air getting pulled out just at the top there so we got some nice circulation in the van now that I'm an outdoor instructor I'm still exploring the wider world and being in nature a lot more and having the van is helping me achieve my life goals it helps me get out in nature i've got everything i need when i need it wherever i go obviously next to that we've got usb we've got a voltmeter we've got the plug for my 12 volt bridge which lives just up there. It just kept in place with a little bungee cord on this side we've got some little baskets screwed to the wall just to hold all my mats in place a little coat hook there for my hats and coats or uh climbing harness and chalk bag at the moment and then underneath the bed we have Oscar's bed I say Oscar's bed it can be anyone's it's adult sized so you know, I've got friends with me they can just slide the feet all the way down there and go to sleep or if they want they can stick the head right in it doesn't really matter but it's six foot long and two foot wide so just the right size for an extra person to sleep um, on the wall there we have the table there's a little leg hole in the floor and he just pops into place the table's not quite finished yet so I'm not gonna show you that because the top of it looks a bit rubbish so underneath this lid here we have a toilet seat and we have a separator where the wee goes out into underneath the van uh, when, when I'm on campsites I'm not like somewhere properly wild I'll have a container which it feeds into I live him somewhere like if I'm somewhere else and it's, it's okay for it to drain off into the grass then it can that can happen too the back section is just a bucket what I line with a compostable bin bag and as soon as bus the business is done that gets tied up and then chucked into a bin as soon as possible that means you're not carrying around some murky horrible chemical stuff full of you know nastiness when you're driving around so it's gone and out of the way one thing I learnt when I first built the van is that you want access to the garage space from both sides so on this side here I've done the exact same I've got bifold doors that open up and I can access the underneath of the van I've got a light on this side just so I can see what's going on and I can access anything that I need to get to from both sides then it's which makes it much easier say if somebody's parked right up against the back of your van and you can't get to the back doors not a problem you can take everything out from this side we have the outbacker stove eco burn firebox so this thing is awesome it's light it's got plenty of room it's got these vents here which suck up air and then it burns the fumes off as well as the wood so basically when you've got the right wood in there it is smokeless we've got the flue and attached to the flue we have a water heater so it uses the heat from the flue when the stove is burning also one good thing about another good thing about this stove is you can twist the top off there and you can place you can place a pot on top or your kettle and you can use it to cook also you can find me online at youtube forward slash leon perkins van life you can 
find out more about me on my website the diary of a van and on my Instagram Leon underscore Perkins underscore where I document my life experiences trying to reach self-actualization at the top level of Maslow's hierarchy of needs I'm very proud of this van and it's took me three goes to build it exactly the way that I wanted to build it but now it is finally done and it's time to enjoy it for as long as I can keep the dream alive so thank you for watching if you've liked the video please click that like button drop us a comment below and if you'd like to go and check out my website the diary of a you can get a diary of a van man sticker or you can read a couple of my blog posts and I'll get a bit more background about who I am and what I do so yeah thanks again see you next time cheers